valley of vision, fullness in Christ. He writes, O oh God, thou hast taught me that Christ has all fullness and so all plentitude of the Spirit, that all fullness I lack in myself is in Him. That is the gospel. The fullness I lack is in Him him from his fullness we all receive he says for his people not for himself alone he having perfect knowledge grace righteousness to make me see to make me righteous to give me fullness he says that it is my duty out of a sense of emptiness to go to christ this is how the gospel plays out in our everyday lives from a sense of emptiness go to christ then he says and possess enjoying or enjoy his fullness as mine as if i had it in myself because it is for me in him he says that when i do this what what is he talking about from a sense of emptiness going to christ man we can't want him without him. We can't love him without him. We can't obey him without him. That's why we have got to go to him because that's how he's able to quicken us to be all that he desires from us. From a sense of emptiness, we go to Christ. And he says, and when I do this, I am full of the spirit. Now he gives a description as a fish that has got from the water or from the sorry as a fish that has got from the shore to the sea a fish out of water i actually put that illustration in one of my books many years ago that sin is every flapping move of the fish outside of its god ordained environment when we live outside of the presence of the lord in suffocation we do all these things that are that are wrong and, and outside of him and bad attitudes and ingratitude and and just motives that are off but when we get into the presence of the lord the sweetness of his presence we move rightly we're in our god-ordained environment so as a fish that has got from the shore to the sea and has all fullness of waters to move in for when faith fills me then i am full that this is the way to be filled with the spirit let's just emphasize that again this is how you get filled with the spirit a sense of emptiness coming to christ all the fullness i lack in myself i find in him he says like stephen first faith then fullness for this way makes me most empty and so most fit to be filled with the spirit I remember Kalinda told me one time, God will send no one home empty except those who are full of themselves. So it's this sense of emptiness, the recognition of the fact that we lack and that he is, we are insufficient, he is all sufficient. This is gospel 101. This is daily practice of the gospel. So the, he goes on and says, Thou hast taught me that the finding of this treasure of all grace in the field of Christ begets strength and joy and glory and renders all graces alive. <laughs> when we find Christ, he says, this causes, begets, births, strength. Are you lacking strength? Joy, are you lacking joy? Glory and renders all graces alive. When we come with a sense of emptiness, then we are filled. When we are recognizing the lack in ourselves and that the fullness is found in Him, that's when we find Him and experience this wonderful reality of the new covenant and live and move and have our being in the new covenant. He says, help me to delight more in what I received from what I received from Christ. Help me to delight more in what I receive from Christ more in that fullness which is in him that fountain of all his glory oh every good thing that you experience is just streams from the fountain of the person of the lord praise god and i'm glad it's that way 
A man can't make things up. He can't make it happen. But flowing from the fount of Christ is the streams of joy and strength and grace and empowerment and fulfillment and satisfaction. Praise God. He says, let me not think to receive the spirit from him as a thing apart from finding, drinking, being filled with him. We don't want to separate the experience of this satisfaction and joy and strength and peace of the Spirit from the person of the Lord. It is the person of the Lord. He says, to this end, O God, do thou establish me in Christ. Settle me. Give me a being there. Assure me with certainty that all this is mine. For this only will my heart with joy. This will fill my heart with joy and peace. I encourage you to pick up Valley of Vision because it reminds you of Gospel 101. Every day, the reality of our situation is Christ is all, and we come to Him to be all for us. If we really believe Christ to be all, then that ends all of our efforts because we just throw ourselves upon Him. And herein is the Gospel. The fullness I lack in myself, I find in Him. From a sense of emptiness, I go to Christ. When I do this, I am filled with the Spirit. And from the treasure that I find in the field of Christ, I find strength and joy and glory, and it renders all graces alive. Praise God. May we drink and be filled again and again by recognition of the fact that He is all-sufficient and we are insufficient. Father, thank you for every viewer. I ask you, Lord, even now to draw them to prayer. Draw them into sweet exchange with you. To know that your mouth is full of sweetness and you are all together lovely. I praise you and worship you. Thank you for your presence. Do this in every viewer, I pray. Thank you, God. Thank you for your presence. I do this in them, Lord. Fresh newness of life. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. I worship you. Fill every viewer, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Jesus, we worship you. There isn't another like you. I praise you. Lord, take us up above the earth and above ourselves to live in that place of adoration, attentive affection and awe, Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. Just want to tell you also, on Tuesday nights, we meet on Zoom and spend time together in the presence of the Lord. We have actually Michael Miller is going to be doing our, our mentoring group tonight. Different guests come in. If you want to sign up, I'll put a link down below. These times have been very precious. Adoration Mentoring International. God bless you guys.